Pittsburgh is a wonderful city for the gas conference uh, because it is a city that has experienced significant transformation. And that is the theme for the, for the 2007 conference. Um, it was known as a glass city before it was even known as a steel town. A lot of people don't know that. Well, since 1797, Pittsburgh has been a center for glass. And by 1880, there were 51 glass factories in the Pittsburgh area. But the glass industry changed, and uh, this transformation has been dramatic in recent years. There are fewer factories now, uh, but instead, we now have the glass of uh, a creative artists. The city that is transforming from kind of a, that steel town that it's been known as to a very much more arts, cultural kind of a place that really uh, can support artists that come here and has a growing glass community that's centered around the Pittsburgh Glass Center. So I think Pittsburgh has so much to offer and it's transformed itself, so I think it really leads right into the conference title because glass is a transformational material also. Pittsburgh, as you know, was a steel city. Many people who have not been here recently still consider it a sooty, grimy place and can't imagine what they will see. But when they come from the airport and emerge to see this wonderful landscape of skyscrapers surrounded by beautiful rivers and hills, the dramatic scene is totally engaging. I think Pittsburgh is a, uh, I think it's a really cool place, really interesting place. Pittsburgh is a really vibrant, growing city. We're certainly more metropolitan than we've ever been and cosmopolitan. I think for a city our size, we have a, a really diverse art scene, we have galleries that are thriving. It has all the amenities of a big city, like a ballet and a symphony, and yet it doesn't have the hassle or expense of a big city. Pittsburgh is a wonderful urban environment. The restaurant scene is phenomenal. The bar scene is fantastic. So you may have a hard time steering yourself away from some of the great demos, but you'll have a hard time steering yourself away from some of the great amenities here. Uh, so I think people are going to be excited that don't know Pittsburgh and people that know Pittsburgh will come back just because they know it's a great place to be. The 2007 Glass Art Society Conference in Pittsburgh is going to be really outstanding. The theme is transformation, which I think every artist can relate to. Um, you know, artists are constantly in states of transformation, and I think that artists are always questioning um, where they are and what they're doing and why they're doing it, and so therefore um, the theme of transformation is really relevant. So I think that that's going to really um, provide a lot of interesting lectures and topics for the conference. Well, the GAS conference will uh, begin with a pre-party at the Carnegie Museum of Art and Phipps Conservatory, where exhibits of glass, uh, both at the Carnegie and the Chihuly exhibit at Phipps, uh, will be uh, totally dramatic and exciting. Uh, then the opening ceremonies at the Bayam Theater, a beautifully restored theater, will be equally engaging. The restored William Penn Hotel will be the site of conference activities, as well as our wonderful convention center, which is the largest green building in the United States. It's a dramatic setting for any event. And of course, our science center along the river uh, will be a fabulous site for our final party. But the year of glass is what will keep us all engaged uh, during the conference because Pittsburgh is experiencing an unprecedented collaboration between all its arts organizations around the topic of glass for the whole year of 2007. The Three Hours Arts Festival is also going on. The Arts Festival will be within a 10 minute walk of the facilities for the conference, as is anything downtown. But Pittsburgh is a very accessible environment on foot. The Pittsburgh Glass Center is the focus of all of this activity. We will be housing a wonderful Japanese show of glass art. Harumi Yukitaki from Japan has agreed to curate an exhibit by going back to Japan and picking some of the best contemporary Japanese artists right now on the scene 
bringing them back to Pittsburgh for the exhibit here in our Hodge Gallery. All of the galleries and the exhibition spaces will be housing glass, and everyone will be thinking glass thoughts for the year of 2007. Pittsburgh Glass Center is a great energetic place for artists. And everyone who has come here and looked at our facility has said, wow, uh, this is a fully complete, comprehensive studio. It's wonderful to work here. It's fun to work here. We know that we're making Pittsburgh a better place. But then to find out through American Style Magazine, for instance, who uh, through their reader poll, and this is a national reader poll, has moved Pittsburgh from 10th place to third place for mid-sized art cities because of the Pittsburgh Glass Center. I can come into one building and flame work and blow glass in the hot shop and make a casting or a fusing and do my cold working all in one building. The Pittsburgh Glass Center has already hosted so many artists. It's it's almost too numerous, but let me go through a few that I love. Karen Willenbrink. Kirsty Ray. Dante Marioni. The Delatory Brothers from Mexico. Randy Walker. Stephen Powell. Jill Reynolds. Frenchek Yannick. Emilio Santini. James Minson. Jane Bruce. The names go on and on. They're all coming to teach at the Pittsburgh Glass Center. Everyone that hears about it goes back and says, this is a good place to be. They treat you well. Students are good, students are from all over the world. One of my favorite things about it is that I can work in any one of these studios and it's really excellent that all these artists from all over the world, like Dante Marioni and Sally Prash, Nick Mount come and I get the opportunity to learn from them, see how they work. It's just a really unique environment to get to work with artists like that. We do most of our glass work at the Pittsburgh Glass Center. We've been able to make a large amount of glass when we can, you know, and enjoy a life sort of with some stability. So I think that as long as we can continue to, to thrive in Pittsburgh, we will be here. I think that there really is a, a burgeoning glass community here in Pittsburgh. You know, we've already got about 25 glass artists that have moved from around the country to live here in Pittsburgh because of the Glass Center. And some of those artists are now opening their own studios um, that have specific equipment that they, you know, want to use. And, and other artists like us are just buying homes and living near the Glass Center and working out of the Glass Center. Um, but it, it really is starting, and that's kind of one of the really exciting things. People are really starting to get the word out that you can do this here. Um, you can buy a building in Pittsburgh for under $50,000, and you can afford to build a studio. Um, you can buy a home, like what we have here is a studio, a live workspace. We live above our shop. We were able to do this, and we've been very successful. As pioneers of building our first studio, we hope to inspire other people to do the same. Well, I think if you're a, a glass artist and you're thinking of coming to the conference, just give yourself that, uh, that freedom because, especially with the Pittsburgh Glass Center, you're going to find one of the top five facilities in the world. I hope that every conference attendee makes it up to the Glass Center to see some of the demonstrations because I think they'll really be blown away by the studios. Pittsburgh is a great city. It's got huge amounts of cultural fun things to offer. I would come to Gas just to check out this city. I mean, it's one of the most amazing untouched cities. There's so much opportunity, so much potential, so much fun to be had here. We are calling Pittsburgh 07 Year of Glass. And our intention is that every gallery in Pittsburgh will have something glass in it. If we can have plays that have glass in it, we will do that. If we can have things out in the community that are glass, we will do that. We are transforming the city for that moment into a city of glass.